Hello and welcome to today's episode where we will solve the problem A1560 Dislike of Threes. As always, I will start with reading the problem. You can skip to the next bookmark if you want. Dislike of Threes. Polycarp doesn't like integers that are divisible by 3 or end with a digit 3 in their decimal representation. Integers that meet both conditions are disliked by Polycarp too. Polycarp starts to write out the positive, greater than zero integers which he likes. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 14, 16, and so on. Output the kth element of this sequence. The elements are numbered from 1. Input. The first line contains one integer t, with t between 1 and 100, the number of test cases. Then t test cases follow. Each test case consists of one line containing one integer k with k between 1 and 1000. Output. For each test case, output in a separate line one integer x, the kth element of the sequence that was written out by Polycarp. That means our task is to find k elements that are not divisible by 3 or end with a digit 3 and return the value. To test automatically if our solution is correct, I will implement the test cases that we have from codeforce.com with PyTest. If you want to know how to set up VS Code with PyTest, you can click on the linked video. The PyTest test cases will call a function that should return the value at the kth position. We will first implement a dummy function that our test cases can call anything before we implement the real logic in the function. For this, we go in our main.py file and give the function a name. We call it giveKPosition and say that the function gets in value an integer. I said before, this will first be just a dummy function, so we return zero and save it. Now we start with the test cases. For this, we make a new file, just call it testcases.py and start with implementing the first test case. Now we need to import the givekposition function. So we say from main import givekposition. We keep the naming very simple and call the first test case just test case one and say that we assert that givekposition from one should be one. Next test case, test case two, and we assert that k position two will be two. And so on, I think I will make a shortcut here. So now we have implemented all our test cases. You can save and then just try to call pytest. So we see that all test cases are false. This is alright for the moment. Now we can go to the implementation of our function. First let's think about once again what we know. We know that numbers that are dividable by 3 are not wanted. How can we test if a number is dividable by 3? We can use the module function. If modulo 3 is 0, then a number is dividable by 3. On the other side, numbers where 3 is the last digit are not wanted. How can we test this? The easiest way is that we use the modulo function once again. This time we need the modulo 10 function. If the result is 3, the last digit of the number is 3. So let's start the implementation. We need two counter. The first one is to counter how many good numbers we have found. If k is for example 6, we need the 6th good number that we want to return. The second counter is just a number counter with the next number that gets checked if it's dividable by 3 or if the last digit is 3. When our counter is as high as the position we are searching, we found the number we want to return. That means we need a loop to check one number after the other. While counter is smaller than k, 
Now we increase our second counter, our A, the number that should be checked now. And now we use our modular functions. If A modulo 3 is not 0, so if A is not dividable by 3, and if A modulo 10 is not 3, so the last digit of the number isn't 3, we can increase our counter because we have found a good number. And now we just need to change one thing. We don't want to return 0 here. We want to return A. We can save the file and try PyTest once again. And we see all tests passed. So the implementation is correct. To submit the solution, we need to change two things. We first need to add the reading in of the number of taste cases. And then we need to add a loop to call the function and print out the result. So the number of cases we got here is the input we get, so the first number, and we need to change it to an integer. Then we open up a loop for i in range, number of cases. We just print the result of give k position of the next input. And this is once again an input that is a string or a character and we want to change this to an integer. We can save it, copy our code, open up the problem set, go to submit, just submit problem here and see that our solution was accepted. Small conclusion to the end. What we learned today is that with the modular function on the one side we can check if something is dividable by a number and on the other side we can get the last digit of a number by using the modulo 10 function. Thank you for watching the video. I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.